welcome back to my channel. My name is Manuela Manzami and I'm a third year medical student studying at the University of Pretoria. To all my new subscribers, thank you so, so much for subscribing. To my existing subscribers, thank you so, so much for staying tuned in to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm forever grateful for all the love and the support and just the words of encouragement that I've received from YouTube and Instagram. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that has told me about their story or even commented and asked me questions. I'm so humbled and I'm forever, forever grateful. So, on to this video. How to apply into medicine from high school. Before I answer that question, allow me to ask you guys a couple of questions. <laughs> Why do you want to study medicine? Why do you want to study medicine? Do you want to study medicine because it's good financial security? Do you want to study medicine because, well, you heard doctors in South Africa get paid well? Do you want to study medicine because it's good job security? Why do you want to study medicine? I feel like it's so important to analyze that question and truly be honest with yourself. Because you don't want to spend years of your life doing something that you're not passionate about. Take care of yourself, take care of your mental space and that begins now. If you're going to choose a career path, choose it with the right intention. Medicine, you're serving others. You're living a life of service to others. And that should be your goal when applying into medicine. So, my grade tens. I feel like I should start with my grade 10s because in grade 10, this grade 10 year truly shapes your life. It's in grade 10 that you choose which subjects will bring you into medicine and which subjects will lead you into the path of medicine. What are the medicine subjects? Well, you'll need physics, you'll need maths, you'll need English, you'll need life science. And the university requirements say that you need a level 5 for these subjects. That is 60 to 69 percent. I think an advice that I would give you guys is from grade 10, develop that attitude of being an A student. That means getting your distinctions. Because the likelihood of you getting into medicine with a 60 to 69 percent is very slim. You must understand that medicine is a very highly competitive field and there are a lot of intelligent people out there that are truly, truly doing much more better than 60 to 69 percent. So just do well. That's the only way that you can secure your role into medicine is by getting your distinctions and that's an advice that I would give you. Grade 11s. In grade 11, I would say that your grade 11 year is basically the year that allows you to study medicine. And the reason why I'm saying that is everyone has that mindset that in matric, I can get my distinctions in matric and flunk my grade 11 or get 50s in my grade 11 and I can study medicine. And that's not the case at all actually because it's in your grade 11 year that you apply into medicine. That's the, this year is the only year that you'll get conditionally accepted into medicine. So an advice that I'd give you is get your distinctions in grade 11 because the, the marks that you get in grade 11 will allow you to get conditionally accepted into the university and your matric marks are basically just the cherry on top. And yeah, that's a great advice I would give you guys. I wish I had known about this when I was in grade 11, but unfortunately I, I didn't even know that I wanted to study medicine in grade 11. So the fact that you know that you want to do medicine, you're already high and above majority of us that really didn't know our career paths in grade 11. So prepare for it now, plan for it now, and do well and excel in your studies in grade 11. There are different universities that cater for medicine. I've listed them below. I know about UCT, WITS, um, UP, University of Limpopo, Medunsa, UFS, um, and a number. Walter Sisulu University as well, Stellenbosch as well. So I've listed them below and I hope that I was able to cover every university. So yeah, 
so that's great 11 um oh and another advice i'll give you is apply to as many universities as possible if possible i know that registration fees not registration fees entrance fees are pricey but do your best to apply to as many university, universities as possible because I feel like when you apply to as many universities as possible, you are able to have a, like you're able to properly choose which university will cater to you without having made um, a decision based on a single university that only accepted you. So you basically have freedom of choice when you're able to do that. And also you guarantee a spot to study at university in case one university rejects you. So in matric. So my matric students, basically this year is where you have to give it your all. Because you have already applied in grade 11, you got conditionally accepted. Now you're getting into matric. And this really seals the deal in studying medicine. In your matric, you have to apply to write your NBTs. And NBTs is basically your national benchmark test that assesses your mathematics, your quantitative literacy, and your um, journal knowledge. So you have to write the NBT and you have to pass the NBT. And that also helps when applying to medicine. And I remember in my matric year, I did a biographical questionnaire. I'm not too sure if universities still have that, but I did a biographical questionnaire when I was applying to study at FIDS. And um, that basically helps the university assess what kind of person you are. And um, you also have to do a number of hours of community service. I remember I worked at a hospital for a number of hours and um, I had to get a signature from the registrar of the hospital and send it to the university. I'm at UP now, so at UP I didn't have to do that. So it depends which university caters for that. So as I said, in your NBTs, your biographical questionnaire and excel in your studies. Excel, 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 excel. Um, an advice that I'd give you is when you do well in high school, you are able to prevent having to go into varsity and having to do one year of varsity or um, a, an entire degree like I did in order to get into medicine. So an advice that I would give you is, truly if you start early, you'll save yourself a lot of time, you'll save yourself a lot of years, you'll save yourself a lot of money. Um, if I could have gotten into medicine from high school, I would have pre preferred that um, option. So yeah, that's, that's really an advice I'd give you. Study super, super hard. Um, be disciplined. Give it your all, give it everything you have, and it's truly possible for you to be able to study. Um, I'll also be doing a video on Thursday that um, speaks about how to get into medicine from tertiary for those that didn't make it into medicine from high school. Um, the reason why I'm emphasizing on high school students is don't have that mentality of, oh, I can slack in high school and then I'll just upgrade and then from upgrading I can go into studying medicine because universities nowadays don't accept upgrading students' marks. So you can upgrade, but the university won't accept you to study medicine. The university only accepts those that came directly from high school or you have to at least do one year of tertiary. So the mentality of those to upgrade, to get into medicine, doesn't work. And I speak from my personal experience. I upgraded and I didn't make it into medicine from upgrading. In fact, UP, the university that I'm in, rejected me after I upgraded. And I had to do tertiary to get into medicine. So this is why I'm honestly emphasizing on high school students. Please do your best. Do your best. Um, you'll save yourself a lot of time and you truly, truly, truly got this. I hope I managed to cover every information that you needed. Um, if you need further information, please contact me. I'm on Instagram. Um, you can comment on YouTube as well. And I'll try and answer your questions to the best of my abilities. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and see you on the next video. Bye.